Boston 25 Morning News starts right now. Good morning. Thanks so much for waking up with Boston 25 Morning News, 8 a.m. on Sunday, October 21st. It's gloomy out there, but an exciting week ahead of mm. baseball. I'm Heather Hedgeta. And I'm Jason Law. Yeah, big week ahead. We'll get to the uh, World Series now set in just a few minutes. But uh, Jason Brewer tracking some pretty cold temperatures out there, only 40 degrees at Logan. Jason, thank you. Breaking this morning, at least 17 people are dead this morning after a train derailed in Taiwan. More than 100 others are injured and are now being treated at four different hospitals there. According to Reuters, the train cars overturned in Yilong County, which is near a popular tourist area on the country's east coast. Well, breaking news this morning, as we were just saying moments ago, there were no winners in last night's billion dollar Mega Millions jackpot, but there were more than a dozen million dollar winners, including one in New Hampshire. So now the jackpot for Tuesday night's drawing is set to be worth $1.6 billion. So if you want to check your ticket, go ahead. Here are the winning numbers right here. 15, 23, 53, 65, 70, and the Mega Ball was 7. Now the odds of winning the jackpot are about 1 in 302.6 million. So if that's just a lot of numbers for you, to put that in perspective, you have a better chance of becoming president. You also have a better chance at getting struck by lightning twice. In total, 14 tickets won a million dollars. There was also a $2 million winner in Texas. So there's still a shot, everybody. Your next chance at winning some money is tonight's Powerball. That drawing will now be worth $470 million. It started in New Hampshire and spanned three different states. That trooper was rushed to the hospital, and the suspect is also in custody this morning. And this morning, Boston 25 News reporter Natalie Rubino is live outside UMass Memorial Medical Center in Worcester with details, Natalie, on the string of crimes that led to this violent encounter. Well, firefighters took on some major flames at Logan Airport yesterday, and at first glance, this may have appeared to be a real serious disaster that they were dealing with, but fortunately, this was all a mock training drill that looked very real. 